It's Arlen here with Load King. Today we're going to take you on a walk around of our latest offering in the Distinction Series trailers. It's a new model that we've just brought to the market. We're really excited about it. The model that you see behind me today is a 45 foot triple axle trailer, very similar in exterior appearance to the trailers we're currently building. The one important feature that you'll note is that it's got a three hopper configuration. We've had many requests for, for people that are looking to haul three different commodities in these products, especially in springtime seating. Prior to this, the only offering that we offered was in the Prestige Series, which is still available. The three hopper trailer will come standard with 84 inch sidewall to allow you the maximum cubic capacity. We have a heap cubic capacity of just over 2,200 cubic feet of room to store that product in. It's split into three hoppers. The front and rear hopper both carry 40% of the uh, product and the center hopper carries 20%. All three hoppers will drop their product through a 16 by 24 door, the same as we currently use in all of our uh, different trailers that we have. So it's a standard door opening. The only difference being that there are the three hoppers to unload. What you'll see behind me today is the new graphite metallic paint that we're offering. So the sidewalls, graphite metallic, which is an optional feature in addition to the white and black, which have been standard for many years. The front and rear walls have the stainless steel option, so you, it'll give you a nice shiny exterior on all corners of this trailer. Also included in this uh, trailer will be the Michaels trap openers. There's some unique advantages with having this on a three hopper trailer. Generally, people are using this uh, trailer to move product into a, a grain cart or s something working in the field. So you have the ability to carry the remote up on top of the unit that you're loading into and you can still control the gates from up above. So you're not running up and down. It'll allow you to shut off the product once your bins are getting full. You'll see that the standard that we have is to put the opener drive motor onto the right side of the trailer. We do have a set of individual switches that are located on the left side, so you can open and close this hopper from either side in addition to the remote you have. Should you have to go into a manual mode, you can unlock the, the motor and go back to a manual crank system. One additional feature to the opener is the fact that it has an express close. It's touch of the button and it'll close the gate completely. We do have a lock that we recommend you putting in the center location that, that allows the hopper opening to open freely. But as you're traveling, it does give you the ability to pull the pin, throw the lock down into the tooth to keep make sure the hopper's traps stay closed. The three hoppers also have a nice high clearance for the swing augers that you use, well over 21 inches as a minimum, depending on the tire size. So it'll give you lots of room to swing that auger underneath when you're moving from hopper to hopper. The chute frames are what we use in all of our trailers. In addition to the rack and pinion design, the, the gate itself is, is made out of stainless steel, so especially important in this trailer because often there will be fertilizer being used, the stainless steel will, will not rust and keep that debris or ish, any rusty product from coming up into your hopper. As the chute frame rolls out, it's the, the gate itself is supported on nylon rollers. There are replaceable Teflon wear strips. As the trailer ages, you are able to refurbish the, the gates itself with the Teflon wear strips. Underneath the, the kingpin area, we have a full closeout to keep all that debris from coming up into that hopper area. There is an accessible a manhole in that area to, should you need to get in there for any sort of inspection. Directly ahead of the landing gear, we, we have the option of adding some extra belting. So you'll see four in a row mud flaps along the front of the trailer to keep all that debris from hitting your landing gear, the first hopper, and so on. As is standard in all of our Distinction Series trailers, we have the Yoast landing gear, five-year maintenance-free, 10-year warranty landing leg, a great two-speed landing gear that's offered as a standard on all trailers. Ahead of each hopper, we've added another set of three in a row flaps, so that means every hopper on this trailer has been protected. Uh, again, that's an option. I highly recommend adding that option. Just keeps that, that trap area nice and clean as you move from field to field. Directly ahead of the suspension frame as well, we have another mud flap to keep that debris from going up into the suspension area of the trailer. The, the trap doors open beyond the opening of the hole means you are able to clean out from going from commodity to commodity 
uh, and not contaminate with different product in your tank. You do have the option of flipping up a tab and rolling the gate out completely should you want to get that completely cleaned out as well. There are four different lighting options available on this trailer. Uh, the trailer you see behind me today has got the option C light package, which is the full light package, meaning you have seven uh, lights on the top and seven on the main rail. The lights we're using here today are the Model 33 lights by Truck Light. The harnesses are completely built for us by Truck Light as well. So you do have the option of option C package, which is seven lights, option B has five, and the A package has three. The standard package is just the DOT required lighting, which is three on the lower rail. We do also offer the optional lighting. You can have interior and exterior lighting. That's another package we do offer. And in this unit with three hoppers, there would be a light in each compartment. Inside, when you're filling, you're able to see what's going on in each compartment. There are three lights in front of each of the hoppers for the lower, so if you're working long hours, you've got lots of lighting depending on, on whatever your needs are. As a standard in all of our Distinction Series trailers, I should talk a little bit about the sidewalls. We mentioned that it's an 84 inch sidewall on this trailer. It's constructed with an 063 aluminum outer shell coming in three different colors, fastened to Z posts. And on the inside of the trailer, we do have an 050 aluminum skin that keeps that everything clean and, and moves into the hopper smoothly. We also vent the lower rail of the trailer to allow any condensation or moisture to escape. The hoppers themselves are vented through the end caps. It just allows it, it's a little higher up on the trailer to stop any debris from coming in between the walls. Moving along the side of the trailer, you'll notice the air box on the left side of the trailer. Inside is an air gauge. There's also an option of having a light as well as an air chuck that you'll see here. In addition, we mount the switches for the interior lights as well as the exterior lights. So that's all contained in one box, one location. On the front and the back of the trailer, we add a catwalk, so it allows you the accessibility to, to be able to look at what's going on in the hopper. In addition, there is a ladder mounted at the back of the trailer, as well as the front of the trailer, so it allows you to crawl up and see what's going on in the, in the grain tank. Inside the hoppers, we do also offer some steps that allow you the ability to, to climb down into one and across to get into the center hopper. We use the Hendrickson Intrax 23K suspension. The trailer behind me today is equipped with 22.5 uh, BF Goodrich tires. Uh, we do have several different tire options, Michelin BF Goodrich, and a few other offerings as well. We've got the aluminum wheels inside and outside, and we've also equipped this trailer with the Tire Max Pro tire inflation system a great system that uh, keeps uh, monitoring your tire pressure, either inflating or deflating as it sees the need to do so. The axle spacing, the triple axle spacing, 61 inch spread between each axle. It allows you to transfer uh, as much weight to the back and make the, the load balance of this trailer uh, work well in the job that it's got to do. Above the wheels and tires, we talked about the closeouts that we have in the front of the trailer. We offer the same in the back, a full closeout over the suspension area. This particular unit is equipped with the stainless steel half round fenders over each axle. Uh, it also has a closeout between each fender and it's angled down to shed any debris that may be caught inside that uh, fender. The mount itself is stainless steel in addition to the fender. So it's a, it's a nice clean corrosion free closeout option as well and it's also great in appearance. The suspension frame, first of all, it's a steel suspension frame that we offer on this trailer. At the back of the suspension frame, at the rear of the trailer are also two tow hooks, should you need to give that trailer a little tug if you're caught in something not allowing the trailer to move. In addition to the power trap openings, which this trailer is equipped with, you do have the option of incorporating a power tarping system by the same company, uh, working on the same remote. Should you choose to go to a manual option, the trailer is open from the rear of the trailer. I'd like to thank you today for joining me on this walk around of this new product that we're happy to offer. Uh, again, the three hopper, something new is available for order right now. Uh, if you need more information on this unit, please visit us at our website or call your local dealer and we'd be happy to give you some more information. Thank you.